So here's a good question. Blood tests, why are they important? Well, apart from looking at you clinically, there aren't any other ways of getting good information about you. Inside you lie some amazing secrets. And the point of doing a blood test is to look and see what some of those secrets might reveal about your health. For example, if you're anemic, you may say you're tired, you may look a little bit pale, but unless I have the blood test, I can't tell you whether that's true or not. Now, sometimes it's obvious, such as in uh, extreme anemia, where somebody walks in and they look extremely pale, white, their pulse rate is up, and it's pretty obvious what's going wrong. But most of the time, we can't tell anything from looking at you just on the outside. We've got to delve a little deeper. And that's where a needle comes in very handy because by taking a blood sample, we can measure hundreds of different things that might give us some important information about you. Now, not all blood tests are equal. They're not all created equal in that some give some information that's very important and others give subtle information that may be only of importance when the normal testing doesn't show us what's going wrong or whether or not you're normal and can explain the way you feel. Because you've got to remember something. A blood test is a nice thing to have, as I've just mentioned, because it gives us an inside view. But you've got to look at all the clinical symptoms. So when you tell the doctor what's wrong with you, how you feel, that's incredibly important. And then you try to match the blood test with the symptoms to see if you get a match. And if you do, normally we call that a diagnosis. And that's a great starting point for getting you better. Blood tests come in different forms. We can look at anemia, we can look at your cholesterol levels, we can look for your thyroid, we can look to see whether there's any evidence of infection. I can look to see whether or not you're eating the right amount of carbohydrate, protein and fat. It shows up in the blood test. I can tell whether you eat meat or whether you're a vegetarian. That shows up in the blood test. And when you put the whole picture together, you end up with a much better understanding of what's happening to that particular person. And since everybody is different in the sense that what somebody comes in with on one day, they may come in with something different on another day, and another person on the same day comes in with something entirely different again. It's a changing picture for all of us. All of us are somewhat different, and we ourselves are different from one day to another. So series of blood tests become important because then we get to see what you do and the progression of your physiology over a period of time. And that adds up to an even better understanding. So regular blood testing and other testing such as urine testing, saliva testing, and whatever else we consider appropriate gives us a better picture if these are done on a sequential basis. It's one of the reasons why people have regular pap smears um, or why there is breast cancer screening, for example, or why men have PSA levels done to check the health of their prostate. Over a period of time, a clinical picture builds up that enables the diagnostician to be able to better manage that person. So blood tests are very important to do on a regular basis so that your practitioner can get a complete picture of how you're progressing through life. We change all the time. Most of the time we call that aging. Some of the time we are developing some disease process that needs to be picked up. And just seeing your doctor on a once in a while basis and doing a blood test on a very irregular basis doesn't build up a picture of what you're doing. People who have regular testing and are seen frequently are those who are much more likely to have an issue picked up before it becomes serious.